Let's have a closer look at this schedule. And we see we have different price quantity combination. And each price is associated with a specific quantity demanded. Price of seven, quantity demanded two. Price of four, quantity demanded is eight. Price of one, quantity demanded is 14. But the big question is, does this schedule adhere to the law of demand? The law of demand? Yes, the law of demand, remember, states that there's an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Does this schedule satisfy the law of demand? Let's have a look. Let's start with the price of 7. The price of 7 is associated with quantity demanded of 2. Now let's assume the price decrease from 7 to 2. So we have a change in price decrease from 7 to 2. What happens to quantity demanded? Well, it was 2, and the quantity demanded at the price of 2 is 12. So the decrease in, in price from 7 to 2 leads to an increase in quantity demanded from 2 to 12. You can also say there's a, see there's a change in 5 in price, and the quantity demanded increased by 10. So a decrease in price led to an increase in quantity demanded. Yes, we're on the right track. Let's take an increase in price and we start off the price of 3. Price of 3, quantity demanded equals 10. And let's assume the price increase, say, to, to 6. So there's an increase in price from 3 to 6. And what happens to quantity demanded? Well, at a price of 6, quantity demanded is 4. So quantity demanded decreases from 10 to 4. An increase in price leads to a decrease in quantity demanded. Price increased by 3, and the quantity demanded decreased by 6. So, are we on the right track? Yes. A decrease in price led to an increase in quantity demanded, and an increase in price from 3 to 6 led to a decrease in quantity demanded from 10 to 4. So yes, we can say that our demand schedule satisfies the law of demand that states if there's an increase in price, it will lead to a decrease in quantity demanded. And if there's a decrease in price, it leads to an increase in quantity demanded.